going now. Um, All right. So, welcome back to uh, every version, every item block version, every something like that. Um, something like that. We have a friend today. Hello, um, I am friend. True. We are starting over because the world got corrupted. Uh, very sad, but um. I guess in these early versions, you know, the game is less stable. Um, and I have always been planning on, like, taking a backup before I, like, change versions. Just because I don't know, like, which versions you can actually, like, upgrade the world. Uh, but, anyway, didn't have any backups in this case, so we'll just be starting all the way over. Um, but, I mean, it's not too much to make up, because I, I was kind of doing a lot of just, like, goofing around and doing nothing. Um, and a little bit of, like, designing that, like, museum building, but now that has been designed, so. Um, Ethan, can you see the, like, stream? Yeah. Is it working good? Yeah, the stream is, actually, uh, I had the audio turned on for a second. You're right, it's less than a second behind, so. Okay, cool. I am just watching what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So I saves bandwidth. Deleting this. Okay. New world. So the old world got corrupted, um, and just like turned into a blank world. And so we're just starting over. But we've got a cave right next to us, which is good. So yeah, the plan is to um get every item, every block. <clears throat> I'm gonna start uh as you typically do in Minecraft with some wood. Ethan, do you know what the first version that you ever played was? It was... I played Classic for a while. Mm -hmm. So, like, when it when Minecraft was a Java applet that right. you could, like, have in your browser. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not the, like, mainline one. The actually first one I played was, I think, 1.3. It was okay. right when Villagers had been added. I right. remember that. Oh, was that 1.3, 1.2, 1.1? I don't know. It, it was somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah, let me look. Okay, maybe not when they were added, because this is beta. Maybe I'm thinking of emeralds. Hmm. Or trading, maybe? I think they added trading after they added villagers. I think the first version that I played was, I forget the exact version number, but it was one of, like, the late, like, beta versions at, like, a friend's house. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. like, wow, this is awesome. Um, and so then I played Classic a bunch, and then eventually, like, actually got the game. And I think by that point it was, like, 1.2, 1.3, mm -hmm. somewhere around there that I actually got, like, my own account. For the longest time, I actually didn't have the game, but you could play offline. Oh yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, if you weren't connected, it like couldn't. It just like assumed that you had an account. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I so... I actually, uh, young little like, uh, snitch, me, uh, like reported that as a bug to Mojang, and they were like, "There is is no way to fix this because we like we don't." like want to have like drm <laughs> that wow that that is narc behavior <laughs> hmm. i this this is just a bizarre anecdote i um so you know how credit cards they have like a scheme inside of them like the numbers oh uh, yeah the so like numbers some. there's a yeah there's there's a scheme a checksum and um, on the Minecraft website, they mm -hmm. check whether that is true back then, and then they don't check much further. Hmm. So in fifth grade, I it was at the last day of class, and I was like, I figured it out because I went to like a uh, I found a website that generated credit card numbers that were valid, 
they they had like the correct checksums and whatnot, but they mm -hmm. weren't real credit card numbers. Right. And I little mischievous ten year old me was like, I wonder if this website will just see if it's a correct um checksum and then not check any further. And it sent me an email saying like your account's been created, we've received your purchase, we'll send you a key shortly. So the purchase did actually go through. Huh. Um and I was like Oh my god, I just, I did it, I hacked Mojang, and the teacher overheard me, and I lost computer privileges for the rest of the year. <laughs> Anyways, um, Mojang got back to me and said, uh, there was an error processing your payment, we're revoking your account, and whatnot, and so I did not hack Mojang, but... That is funny. I'm gonna build my house right here, I think. Beast. Nice and close to spawn. On the the previous um, iteration of this, I walked a little ways away from spawn, and so then when I died, I had to, like, walk back. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ethan, I don't know if you know this. Uh, there's no beds until beta 1.3. Hmm. So you just gotta tough it out until then? Each yeah. Night? Yeah, I guess what I've been doing, and I assume this is, like, what people did back in the day, it's seems like the most logical thing to do. I've just been, like, mining at night and, like, doing home renovation during the day. Hold on, you know the song, Don't Mine at Night? Come on. I, uh, I'm afraid I don't know the song. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Ah, oh, that's a good memory. It is a song. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And I'm not updating the like Marquet thing um, until I start the like the museum. So on the previous iteration, I had this like uh, this building where I'm like placing all the blocks or like putting them mm -hmm. in, a, in a chest. I'm not like placing them. Um, once we get item frames, though, I kind of I kind of want to like redo the whole museum. Um, mm -hmm. but anyway, I'm not like uh, changing the marque until I like put stuff into that building. Like, so like I'm getting a bunch of items right now, but it would be kind of annoying to have to go like check them off. I'm thinking uh, just, like, planks again, probably, for the house. The classic. Right. It's either that or cobblestone. I mean, what else do you have in this version? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> it's only one type of tree, yeah. Only one type of tree? Yeah. They added yeah. Uh, <coughs> birch and spruce. Oh, I forgot which version, but later than this. I'm gonna make this house a lot bigger than my house was in the previous one. I just had this like tiny little thing before, but oh this is kind of funny. So when mobs spawn in in this version, they spawn mm -hmm. in in like clusters and they all spawn like in like a clump like a little bit off the ground and then they like fall down and spread out and it's kind of it's sometimes it happens like like right in front of you <laughs> there's no rules about like it has to be behind you or this distance away they'll just like just like a group of sheep or a group of spiders or whatever will just like spawn in like right in front of you <laughs> it's kind of funny to see Uh, oh, my shovel broke. Didn't notice that. So I'm I'm not like trying to like speed run this or anything. I kind of want to like uh you know have a little bit of fun and just like play each version as though like it was the newest version. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. 
but I guess you're like, more talking to the viewers than me, but yes. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I was talking to you. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to, like, just kind of spend some time in each version, as well as doing this, like, project. I mean, it's really, it's also just, like, a really interesting way to see how Minecraft has changed, because right. just, like, off the bat, this is, especially with the new textures, this is, like, an almost unrecognizable, <laughs> not, like, unrecognizable, but it's a very stark difference from, like, Minecraft nowadays. Yeah. I actually There's really so like the old less. cobblestone texture. I mean, I, I like the new one, like, with the new textures, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. But the old one, just on its own, like, looks pretty cool. A lot more contrasty. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Furnaces had just, like, the stone texture on top. Which is kind of wow. fun. <laughs> I think that, that was jarring. the case until at least... Oh, I can't remember. It, it was a while that it was like that. Um, but yeah, it's just like, after playing a new Minecraft for so long, you place a furnace and it's got just like stone on top, and you're like, what? <laughs> One thing that um is like kind of immediately noticeable is how lighting is per block. Hmm. Like, yeah, I don't think there was smooth... Oh, that's not the options button. <laughs> I don't think there was smooth lighting yet. No. Oh, and this is back when, like, you could press F to, like, change the fog distance. Fog? <laughs> that is ominous. <laughs> Man, what kind of computer did you need back then to have that level of fog? That is like... <laughs> it's getting dark here, and I haven't really built much of a house yet. Um, combat is pretty much the same as in, like, 1.8, except for, uh, oh yeah, there's no hunger yet. I think that was, like, late beta they added hunger, I want to say, either that or 1.0. Um, so you just, like, you don't regenerate naturally, and when you eat food, you, like, regenerate. Um, and food is not stackable. So that sort of changes combat, because instead of being like, I need to go hide somewhere and like eat and then like wait to recover health, it's just like you like can spam click food. <laughs> oh yeah, food Minecraft food eating is like instant also. I forgot to mention that. Minecraft Wiki says beta 1.8 gave hunger, and that's okay. when uh, food no longer directly replenished health. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wow, that texture. Well, I mean, I guess I I use the developer texture pack, but that text, some of the textures just not changing. Yeah, is just kind of wild. I know it's like, like they. This they got was it right just the first like, time. yeah, I don't know if it was um, Notch that made the textures or if it was somebody else, but it's just like they just drew some textures, and I, I guess you know it worked. <laughs> Oh, and this was also before, like, shift-clicking in the inventory. Oh, Ooh. and furnaces are full blocks. Not furnaces, chests. Furnaces are too, but chests are full blocks, and there's no animation. Ew. <laughs> that is a welcome change. <laughs> and the top is, like, not actually a double chest. Which is a little strange. Um, okay, I guess I can, <laughs> I guess I can get some more, uh, wood.
Oh, there's no sounds. Have I told you why there's no sounds, Ethan? No. So, it used to be, like, a separate, like, download. Like, it wasn't... They're not, like, embedded into the jar. Hmm. Uh, it would, like, stream... Or, I don't know if stream is the right word, but it would, like, download the sounds, like, when you started the jar, I think? Something like that? So they aren't actually in the jar, and the URL that it used to download them from is, like, not around anymore. So there's just hmm. no sound. So, was it, like, not... Was it, like, an external resource? Yeah. Or was it just, like everything was stored in a separate place i don't know if it was downloaded with the you mean like did the launcher download it with the jar or was it just like i don't know if there even was a launcher back then oh i meant like was the were the sounds take like scraped from a website or were they like made for the game and then just put in oh separate no yeah 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 they were made it was like a mojang website i'm pretty sure i don't okay, think it was just right. like <laughs> I, I for some reason, in my head, that that, that not just, just like, scraping freesound.org no, or something. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny idea, but I, I don't think that was what happened. Uh, but anyway, it's not, like, around anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, it hasn't been preserved. Um, so there's probably a way to, like, mod in the, like, the sounds from Alpha, but I don't, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Or you could maybe just, like, set up your own little local, like, server and, like, DNS thing to, like, make it download, like, alpha sounds instead, but, yeah. At that point. So we just have to get through <laughs> imp dev as quickly as we can. What you gotta do, you know, like, those people in Holly Follies. What? You know how they, like, play the sound in real time to, like, dub it over? Like, they have, like, lettuce and they get a baseball bat and stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you not know what a sound volley is? No. Am I pronouncing that right? It's, it's, a lot of the sounds in Hollywood films are not, like, recorded live. They are dubbed right. over afterwards, even, like, ambient effects, like walking and whatnot. And a lot of the times those are done in a studio, like where people are sort of acting out what's going on on screen, but they're doing oh. it with the expressed purpose of capturing the sounds that best go with the scene. So like maybe like someone gets punched in the face, like someone will like smack a watermelon or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of like attempting to sync up sounds with the scene. And I was saying we could get someone to folly <laughs> the inf dev where every t you just cut down a tree and, you know, go out to the forest at the same time and, like, <laughs> shake a wiggy tree or something. That is a very funny concept. Are there torches? Yes, there are. I just don't have okay. coal yet. I don't think there's charcoal. Let me check. Uh, it is not in the spreadsheet, so there's no charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> charcoal enters the spreadsheet in beta 1.2. Uh, oh, there's no sneaking. Hmm. So you can't, like, you just have to, like, be careful on ledges. It's also no kind of respectable. I think they added sprinting uh, with hunger. Is that right? Um, let's fact check. They added it in beta 1.8, and did I say beta 1.8 is when they added hunger? I believe I think so. so. Oh, here's a kind of annoying bug in this version. Yeah. If a tool breaks, like when you're like breaking a block with it, uh, the block disappears and you like don't get it. 
Yes, I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I for I think. I don't know how I know that, but I do know that, and that is yes, very frustrating. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that big a deal. It's like it's one block every tool, but. <laughs> And it's well, like I mean, if, if it's you like diamonds or something. Yeah, and it's like I guess the the workaround is just like when you find diamonds, like check that your tool durability is high enough first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can um, you like see numerical durability? Uh, let's see. There's no tool tips at all, <laughs> and F3H doesn't seem to do anything. Whoops. Oh yeah, the I guess the blocks didn't officially like have names yet in this version because there's like no tooltips, and in the mm -hmm. game they're just stored. They're just referenced by like the number instead of the like. The like pre one point thirteen numbers. Mm -hmm. Um. So I don't think they like have names. Well, I mean this does chest, and this is a crafting. Table, <laughs> and a furnace. I forgot to put windows. Is there glass in this version? Yeah, there is. Okay. I don't think there's panes, but I don't really like panes anyway. Yeah, they they add an unnecessary dimension. You know, they 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 stick out. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, they do the opposite. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm gonna go steal some sand and then I'm gonna try to find some coal. Is that coal? No. Wait, do you have a pick? Uh in the house. I should have brought it with me. Yeah, it'll be cool if the world, like, upgrades do work. It'll be cool to just, like, see what this would look like with, like, the modern textures and lighting and everything. Mm -hmm. And, like, the biomes and stuff. I think biomes were beta 1.0. Um, so, like, there's there's just, like, the one biome with this, like, bright green grass and leaves. So it, it would be interesting to see, like this landscape with like modern render distance and like actual uh like beach biome or whatever biome this ends up being if the world the upgrades work alpha 1.2.0 had true biomes but apparently before that they were something called winter mode oh yeah yeah, in, in other inf dev versions, not in this one, but in other or maybe it was in dev. I don't know. There was there was a point where you could like when you made the world, you could like pick a biome for it to be. Mm. <clears throat> I see some coal down there. Oh. That is water. I'm just gonna get this coal and then get out of here. <laughs> Man, your mining is slowed down by water even in this version. <laughs> okay, I wanna uh some torches and then go get that other coal that I saw. It's weird 
the grass uh is like a very similar shade of green to like creepers <laughs> and so when i like when i see like one block of grass on its own my like brain thinks that it's a creeper for a second it's so much yeah it's it's a much brighter color it, it only just changed the hue a little bit like later on mm -hmm. Let's go. Iron. And a chuckle. Yeah, so in the other one, I was doing, like, a lot of caving. Like, probably, like, at least half of the total recording time ended up being caving. Um, and I didn't find a single diamond, and I found, like, two gold, I think, in total. Or no, I found ten gold in total. Yeah, we're really serious little... about diamonds being rare. Yeah. But I, I said, like, I don't really like to do strip mining, and so I don't really want to. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I go, like, hours <laughs> and I can't find any diamonds, I might just have to do strip mining because I'm going to need, like, full diamond tools and full diamond armor and a diamond yeah. and a block of diamond. Let me get rid of this water. Well, Feels like you you're reaching your... this far. You know that crafting thing you made? You can, like, put in all of the things for this version and then figure out the amount of raw materials you need to progress. Yeah, there's a few times that they've, like, changed crafting recipes, but most of them are the, are, are the same if they have a crafting recipe. Oh. I didn't get that coal. Cool. Hmm. This was not very well thought out. But now that we have iron, we can make an iron pick. Oh, there's also no stairs in this version. And the only slabs are stone slabs. Very limited uh, building materials. When do slabs get added? Well, there's, there's stone slabs. Uh, do you mean stairs? Oh, I see. There's I don't know. Labs. You get cobblestone stairs in, uh, I think it's one of the alpha versions. I don't know about slabs. Oh, and I'm going to count the old wood slab as separate from the new oak slab. Like, do you know about... Uh, slabs used to be, like, one block, and the, like, wood slab was, like, a data value, or whatever, mm. or damage value, whatever they used to call it. Um, and I guess, like, uh, traits like, is it flammable, was based on, like, the, the main, like, block number, and not the, like, the, like, sub block or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. so... Since wood was was a damage value, since wood slabs were a damage value of like stone slabs, they weren't flammable. Hmm. And so now, for a while, there were wood slabs and wood slabs, and one of them was <laughs> flammable and one of them wasn't. <laughs> uh, and now the old one has been renamed to like petrified slab or something. Uh, to, like, explain why it's not flammable. But you, like, can't yeah. get that now. You have to, like, go back to a version before they made the new wood slabs and get a wood slab and then, like, keep it in a chest or your inventory as you upgrade the version. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of, like, uh, very unique blocks that will, like, only have one chance to get. <laughs> but 
But I mean, we have to get them all before we go to the next version anyway. But yeah. But like, we'll have to get wood slabs twice because th there will be new wood slabs. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Window time. Yeah. I've been laptop... double... Sorry, my laptop thinks it's Delta Airlines. It is. Oh, absolutely. I can't hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that crisp compression is actually doing something. <laughs> it is actually insane that on Linux, you can change your fan speed. Mm -hmm. That is a homemade bomb waiting to happen. Or <laughs> at the very least some irreversible processor damage right well i know like amd processors are like they like slow their clock speed when they overheat and then they like turn themselves off i think and i imagine a lot of motherboards probably do the same thing but yeah i guess if you and i mean i think on windows you can get like special software from the manufacturer of like your motherboard to like change the fan speed but mm -hmm. why is this chest sometimes when you place things they aren't the direction that they should be like this chest here is backwards can you only open it from the front no but it just <laughs> is <laughs> strange that it looks like that it's starting to get dark again Oh yeah, you used to be able to <laughs> open and close a door by by left clicking on it also. <laughs> I can see how that would get annoying pretty quickly. Uh-huh. Are you taking the whole thing back a block? Yeah. Just just this wall. How much glass do we have? Looks like enough. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Got ourselves a very large house here. The American dream. Oh, I need that pick. I am not sure if you get... Well, no, I broke that chest and I got the blocks, so I would probably... The same thing would probably happen for the furnace, but I didn't want to test it. <laughs> oh, this chest is facing the right way now. When did that happen? Oh, yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, so it knows the blocks it's adjacent to and adjusts that is interesting. Huh. 
Huh, but the furnace doesn't. That's really interesting, though. I didn't know that it did that. <laughs> That's cool. You learn something every day. We have ladders. I th think we have ladders. I'm not sure. Yes, there are ladders. Oh, but you only get one from seven sticks. You. Hmm. I want to make like an upstairs. But there's no stairs yet. Okay. Actually, I don't think that I will make it upstairs. I want it. I wanted to have like a like a like a roof, like a diagonal roof. And then I was gonna put like a room inside, but I that's not gonna be enough room anyway. Do you remember that video you sent me that was like Free Purple is a torch room? Yes. That I don't know why I just thought of that video right now, but <laughs> just the that old is Minecraft. <laughs> and like it the PowerPoint presentation frames per second when the creeper <laughs> blows up. Uh-huh. Is just comedy. It is, yeah. So I think I'm probably going to do a similar style for the uh, the museum as I did on the old. I don't want to call it a series because there were only three of them, but <laughs> as I did before. Do you know what that looked like, Ethan? I did not get to see it before it was taken by the data loss gods. <laughs> Let me uh, build a little sample. A little sample. Okay, so it was... Oh, you want to see something kind of weird? I, I am getting distracted, but... So I'm going to put a, a, a slab here, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to put a block here. And then I'm going to right-click on the bottom of this block with a slab, right? All right. You can't place? Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, you, you, like, it's, I've, I guess you don't know, in this version there's no upside down slab, so they just go in, like, the bottom of the block, but if there's a mm. slab in the block below the, where it would go, it, it does this. Hmm. Which is just kind of strange. And another kind of strange thing, uh, if you break a double slab, you only get one slab. So I just like wasted a slab. Um, but yeah, so the way that I had it before was it was wood every two and then, or every three, I guess, and then cobblestone in between. And this was how like the wall looked. Mm -hmm. And then I had like three high windows on every other cobblestone section. And then I was using uh, these slabs for the floor. Snazzy. So I'm probably going to do a similar thing, like same size and shape even. And I'm thinking maybe, I think there's like a lake out this way. If I remember right, I can't, I don't remember if it was a lake or like an ocean. I guess I didn't get close enough to actually see. Okay, let's... There's also not as many mobs as... Oh, okay, so there's a lake and then an, and then a larger body of water. Are there difficulty modes yet, or is it all just like Minecraft? There's difficulty, yeah. Okay. Oh, one of the splash texts that I saw recently was actually now with difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's difficulty. 
Oh, this was back when they had 3D Anaglyph also. I wish they hadn't gotten rid of that. Is 3D Anaglyph like the awful red and blue? Yeah, it's for 3D glasses. Yeah. Which I is. do not have. <laughs> I I always wow. wanted to try the 3D Anaglyph as a kid, and then I never like had 3D glasses, and now it's not in the game anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. When did they get rid of that? Because I remember having it I don't know. when I played. You could check. Mm, let's go. One point one three. It was removed. Okay. So you played before then. Although it's probably in classic. As well. N no, like one point thirteen. Oh, 1.13. Okay, I thought you meant 1.1.3. Hmm. I wonder why they took it out. Like, I guess probably nobody was using it, but like... I... Is... Hmm. I don't know, like... Did they... Was it yet. incompatible with something? And mostly because it wasn't even correctly calibrated to the right red color. Oh, so really? <laughs> that is what they said. And if that's true, then yeah, then it wouldn't even work. <laughs> but if you would just change the red color like that. That I imagine that would not be a hard fix. Just like find the just, just fix it. Yeah, <laughs> just make it work. Try to decide if there's enough room to put the museum on top of this little hill. Let's see. So I wanted cobblestone section, window, door. Yeah, there's not enough room. Okay. Maybe down there then. Be good. That's right. Super secret shaders. Oh yeah. Do you remember those? Yeah, was that 1.8? 1. 1.8. 1. 1.7. Man, that was a throw. I was just like browsing Reddit trying to find information about it and I found that. I just took a lot of damage. That was not good. Yeah, I do remember the super secret uh, shaders. I used to like um, mess around with those when they were in the game. I remember mm -hmm. uh, a friend and I had like a server together and we would just like I would I would turn on the like there was like a watercolor shader or something or like a pencil drawing or I, I can't remember exactly yeah. what it was but I would just like play with that on <laughs> like exclusively on that particular server. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's always kind of interesting how like having different like texture packs or shaders or stuff like kind of changes like how you build things because you're like this block looks nice with this block. And then somebody mm -hmm. comes over who's in a different resource pack and they're like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? What? That shadow no, was broken. Like... Oh, I did not see. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a there's a little bit of delay, but yeah, that is. <laughs> Polka huh. dot. That, I've never noticed that. When I played before. Is it huh. only that, like, block? No. For item? It happened with the huh. torches, too. I didn't... Wait, I thought I dropped some planks on the ground before, and they didn't do that. Maybe it's just with items and blocks work good? No. I don't know how I never noticed that before now. 
That is really strange. I'm going to make a, a little wheat farm because I am in serious need of uh, some food. <laughs> I, I could have sworn it wasn't doing that before. There are circles in my Minecraft. I cannot mine and craft in these conditions. The fact that you pick up the shadows too is kind of funny. Yeah. Ah, this farm doesn't really look very good. Whatever. Oh, I'm out of cobblestone. Oh, there's no uh, dungeons in this version. They added them, like, I think about a week or so after this version. Mm -hmm. So we'll get them when we go to Alpha next. Oh, and there's no tall grass. So to get seeds, you just, like, use a hoe on the ground. I forgot when they changed that, but... So you can just just go anywhere and then seeds will pop. Ah. Yeah, but only sometimes. I'll keep that. Oh, I'm still out of cobblestone. <laughs> Do I have any more coal? Yes. It's time to go caving again. Let's go. I think there was more coal in here, yeah. When you had the uh modified gen, like can you Mine that you can um the modified world gen that server it was mm -hmm. so much fun to just have like an efficiency five pick and just completely how much did I mine I like took out a good part of a chunk right the one where I, I turned remember... all the ores up yeah I just remember. Warren being like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you were just like completely quiet in that call for a while. And then I went outside and there was just like, the mountain was hollow. <laughs> and I was like, huh. <laughs> I was, I was just vibing. I, I like, I had a goal and uh -huh. I, I all but achieved it. I don't know if axes actually mined 
uh, crafting tables faster in this version. And I felt like it didn't just now. The Twitch stream like buffered a little bit, so now it's slightly behind. And you said that as you started mining it, like I don't feel it mines it as fast. Like the second <laughs> you clicked it, and it was like some <laughs> insane, like measuring time or whatnot, just from like a single glance. <laughs> More iron. What block is that? What? I just realized you probably the one that's not stone. That's kind of like a purpley. This one. Uh, yeah. This is gravel. Oh, that's what gravel used to look like. Yeah. Does it not look like this now in programmer art? No. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's that's gravel. You get uh it it gravities just like sand, and uh you get flint sometimes when you break it. Uh and that's literally all that you can do with it. Same as modern Minecraft. <laughs> Although is it in the like a like a like a like a uh what's it called andesite recipe now or maybe it's in coarse dirt i forget i think it's in coarse dirt okay so I it, it is a little more useful now what gravel looks like in programmer art because it is not oh, that look. in the slightest oh yeah it is different okay <laughs> when did they change it i wonder Oh, I I never seen that block in my life. I was like, whoa, this is some like removed blocks and like <laughs> purple like crystal type stuff that 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 we've we've you know not you know been privy to. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if there are any properly removed things. Oh, minecarts are different than they used to be. Uh, in this version, you cannot ride in a minecart. And if you right-click on a minecart, it's a chest. Hmm. And there's, like, a texture that, like that like once you add items to it this like a texture shows up that like is at a different height depending on how many items are in it mm -hmm. uh and uh <laughs> something i did not realize uh soon enough before once you place a minecart you can't break it <laughs> really yeah so i just had a minecart like permanently like in my house before <laughs> Um, but yeah, the fact that it was like a minecart with chess is kind of interesting. And so I'm trying to think, like, what is... Oh, that's right, lava doesn't actually disappear when you get rid of the source block. I forgot about that. Hmm. Um, yeah, so the fact that minecarts are like that, I wonder if they were, like, intended as, like, a like a bring this with you when you mine for extra inventory space but like yeah. you, you definitely don't get enough iron for the like rails to be worth it <laughs> oh, where's that we got a good amount of yeah, iron because like the more iron you get the more you realistically have to expand out your base mm -hmm. so you, you you get more iron, you're able to take your rails further, and then it just kind of cancels out. Yeah.
but the very next version that we're going to play is alpha 1.0.4 that's the, the next one that's in the launcher mm -hmm. um that adds a very important thing aside from cobblestone stairs it adds uh redstone oh wow <laughs> redstone's been in the game that long yep uh but there's no uh repeaters you the way that you used to do like the equivalent of a repeater is you would put like so a torch is a not gate as you know mm -hmm. and it also like it brings the like signal strength all the way up to maximum and it adds a one tick delay oh. so if you wanted to add delay you would just like string a bunch of torches together and if you wanted like a diode you would just use two torches and mm -hmm. you would just have to like live with the delay um so repeaters were added I forget which version, but yeah, before that you would just have to use torches. Um, but there was no easy way to do a like locked repeater type thing. You just had to like build like a like a like a a latch. Um, mm -hmm. I honestly don't know if I have. I've only used a locked repeater in like two different builds. I feel like. I feel like I used it once in one of the skeleton farms. And then I, like, changed the design later and didn't need it. And then I feel like there was another time. Oh, I used it to make, like, a lock for, like, a door. <laughs> I just, like, locked the repeater that came out of the, like, open the door switch. Um, but yeah, locked repeaters, are like, don't get used very much. And then there's no pistons either. I forget when they added those. I think it was sometime in beta. I might be imagining that though. Let's see. Minecraft, I looked up piston instead of piston. Let's see. Thankfully, that did not bite me in the butt. Um, One point seven beta. Okay. And then hoppers, of course, were one point five and comparators. I do think it would be kind of interesting. I've watched a lot of um do you know the channel Ethos Lab? Uh no, I do not. He's like a Minecraft YouTuber that has been around since like beta. Um and he does a lot of like like automated farms and like redstone and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um like even back in like beta, like before they had hoppers and stuff. Um so I kinda I kinda think it would be fun to try to build some of that kind of stuff. Like like not just directly copy his designs, but be like just try to build like a zombie farm like before they had dungeons <laughs> yeah um although before they had dungeons means in this version and i kind of want to get out of this version as quickly as i can <laughs> <laughs> because i don't like uh that my world got corrupted and i'm afraid that it will happen again <laughs> So I need a lot of cobblestone for the building. So I might as well go get some cobblestone now. We'll be right back. Yeah, the uh the shadow thing is funny. Although I could have sworn it didn't use it didn't used to do that. Like I it feels like something you would like immediately notice. Um and I don't remember noticing it before. Yeah, we'll we'll get some cobblestone and then uh 
we'll go ahead and do the uh the building the museum but I think I want to do that over on that island not really an island I guess it's a peninsula but I'm gonna cut down a good number of those trees first oh I should have brought a shovel with me So I could um level out some of this dirt. Yeah, I think there should be plenty of room for that. And then we can start moving stuff over to it and checking stuff off of the list. I don't want to spend forever on this version because there's a lot of versions to get to. I'm going to be especially excited about beds <laughs> in beta 1.3. Um, you know, getting to skip the night will be nice. Oh yeah, items have like a further render distance than they do now. Or not further, uh, shorter. Okay, I don't need all of the saplings. Can you use saplings as fuel on this version, I wonder? Same thing with planks. I don't know. I know now a, a sapling, I feel like it does ha a half a item worth of fuel, and then I feel like a plank is an item and a half. I know a stick is a half an item. You might have to just see later. I'm going to have to get more cobblestone because I'm using some stone on this. Oops. Oh, can I not do that? It's annoying. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of stone. Is it raining? Huh. That's strange. <laughs> There's a lot of strange little bugs in this version. It was, after all, inf dev. Very early in development. Oh, I trampled that. Oops. Yeah, this will be a nice little uh, staircase down to here. I might actually decide to move the farm somewhere else, but for now it's going to go here. Oh, and we got ourselves another seed. Yeah, I like that. So more of these slabs. Mm -hmm. 
I turn. How's it going? Wah wah. I'm making a like a staircase down to the beach. Very cool. Oh, you want to see something weird? What up? Okay, so it's not raining right now, right? Mm hmm. I'm going to go into F5 mode. It's raining, kind of. Hmm. It's got the particles for like when the rain hits the ground, but only at at this Y sixty four, and not like right. higher than that. Hmm. And only when I'm in F five mode. <laughs> this is totally off topic, but the way Steve's arms move around is <laughs> like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait, it, it it moves kind of your camera angle sort of influences how he moves. I realize now there's a significant delay, so maybe what I'm saying is not quite what's going on, but I don't I don't, I don't know what you <laughs> were saying that about, I'm sorry. So do slabs in this... I'm guessing they still work like stairs where you can just walk up them. Oh, yeah. Which is nice. I'm going to move this farm, I think. Maybe... Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll put it over here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. means I need another shovel. This, uh, shadow thing is pretty weird. <laughs> Wait, look. I have a shadow, hmm. but it's like... It's to your left. Wait. No, it's just... <laughs> this game is kind of weird. <laughs> well, it was in dev. It, it was not even dev, yeah. in dev. Inf dev. Well, inf dev is after in dev, but yeah. I know. I was making fun. So wait, what does inf dev mean over in dev? Uh, inf means there's infinite worlds. In dev was ah. like between classic and inf dev, and it was like they had like survival and stuff, but they didn't have the infinite worlds. They didn't have like chunks. Okay. <clears throat> So you're starting at infdev then? Yeah, well this is the the first one in the so the launcher only has one of the infdev versions and it actually doesn't have any of the indev versions. Mm. Um and the reason I'm starting at infdev is because there's no indev in the launcher. Mm -hmm. But yeah, indev did have survival. Track it down. Yeah, I mean I could try to find it online somewhere and run it, but I, I don't want to do that. I'm just I'm sticking to the ones in the launcher and I'm not doing like snapshots and stuff. Yeah, doing snapshots would just be kind of hellish. <laughs> Especially if it's like, there was one snapshot where you could get this block, but also the game crashed every two seconds. <laughs> yeah. The wooden box with glass windows, man. What a throwback. <laughs> uh, 
Um, stone bricks actually were a lot later than I realized. I think they were beta, either beta 1.8 or release 1.0. Whenever they added strongholds, I think that was beta 1.8. Let's find out. But it's like, you know, the strongholds are made out of stone bricks, and I guess they just like, that was when they came up with the idea for stone bricks, which is just like, a lot later than I realized. Beta 1.8, yep. Oh, it's a sheep over there. There's no shears until... It's either beta 1.6 or beta 1.7. Um, so to shear a sheep, you just, like, punch it. And it drops its wool. <laughs> and I assume it takes damage, so there's, like, only so many times you can shear a sheep. Uh... And also, it's light gray wool in this version, even though every sheep is white. <laughs> but you can that still is. get white wool by, like, crafting it out of string, but there's no other way to get other wools. Hmm. But yeah, you, 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 you just punch them. That is... Not really what's going off. <laughs> Oh, a shovel doesn't break farmland faster? A little bit strange. Oh, that should be cobblestone. And then I think I'm going to put the farm over here. It's so weird that the sun just like, when it starts to go down, it just puts like a filter over the screen. Oh <laughs> yeah, it just gets darker <laughs> one one step at a time. Yeah, there was one version, or not not one version, a lot of versions, and I, I know this happens in beta, I don't know exactly which versions, Uh, where it's like not every block at the same time. Like, it's not like the whole screen gets darker, it's just like, the blocks themselves get darker, but it like... Oh wait, no, it's this version too. Do you, do you see how it like, it's not all at once, it has to like travel down an axis? I don't know if you can see that very well over the stream, but it's like yeah, I don't think I can't can't see it. I can see some kind of like in the sky. Oh, is that what you mean in the sky? Because I can see it like propagating. Oh, I don't mean in the sky. I mean in like the blocks. Mm. Uh, it's kind of strange. Yeah. It's probably just like that the blocks can't all update at once. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it's kind of a funny effect. Oh, and while you were up, I started um, deforesting um, an island over here. This is where I'm going to put the uh, the museum. Based deforestation. Mm -hmm. Did I get any seeds? Yes. Oh, yeah, you can't open... Wait. If you're too close to the door, you can't click on it. Hmm. Which is a little bit annoying. <laughs> Maybe they just don't, you know, it swing and hit you. You gotta, uh, you gotta, you know, can't just stand in front of the door when you open it. 
I guess. <laughs> I'm going to be a little sad if I can't um, upgrade the world and keep this build, but I still want to, like, build something nice every version, even if I don't get to keep it. Mm -hmm. That infinite water. <laughs> I'm going to change these out to be planks and make this down here dirt. There's some real Z fighting going on right now. <laughs> Indeed. So, planks. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the workers are fast. That was not ideal. Oh, something that you may have noticed just now. Uh, skeletons don't have bows. They just, like, shoot arrows, like, from nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait until daytime before I go out there again. Um, but I am going to make a an iron sword. I don't know if mobs burned in this version when it becomes daytime. Hmm. That's do they just despawn? I, I don't know if they do that either. Uh oh. I'm honestly not sure. I've not got a lot of health right now. And I definitely got don't a have death a bow counter. Now. Uh, maybe. Eh. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to be responsible for updating that. <laughs> the arrow just, like, flies out of its chest, though. Kind of funny. Blew up. Didn't even hear it. There's no sound. <laughs> Look at all these arrows. <laughs> the skeletons are like really overpowered. Oh, I know why. Okay, so an interesting fact. That you may or may not know. Mm -hmm. um, there's no cows in this version. Mm -hmm. Which means that there's no leather. Ah. What? <laughs> there is... <laughs> okay. Sure. It, is that supposed to be leather? That's how it works. It... That's how it works. It's wool. No, I think I think uh I don't know. <laughs> Cuz it like the item is still brown. 
Like leather? Yeah. But yep, you make it out of wool. Go off. <laughs> huh, I do not have a lot of health. <laughs> you know what else I don't have? So there's no, like, enchanting until 1.0, so... And I'm right next to spawn. I think you can drown in this version. Never tried it. Doing an experiment. Yes, you can. Game over. Yeah, this is less than ideal. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot more cobblestone. I really should be more careful about um, taking fall damage. Because it's like you always, you get used to, like, just having stacks of food and, like, regenerating if you're not hungry. And so then you just, like, you're, like, a small fall kind of, like, doesn't matter. <laughs> but mm -hmm. in this version, it does. Minecraft was a lot less forgiving. Yep. These kids today with their elytras and whatnot. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. They're sniffers. The sniffer is, is strange looking. Someone said it looks like a mod or whatnot. Yeah, I agree. Well, I mean, I thought that about everything in 1.8 also, to be fair. Can't handle change. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> oh. That's a problem. You can't. Interesting. We are losing a slab <laughs> because I have to break this double slab and I'm only going to get one back. I need even more cobblestone. Oh, I have a little bit here. Although I still need to replace this. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go make some tea. Based. I will keep the viewers entertained in the meantime. Go ahead. <laughs>
All right, I'm back. I realized I didn't uh, mute in Discord, but I did mute in OBS. Gaming. All right, let's keep going. T has been acquired. <laughs> Good. First thing to test when we log in is if whether or not we can open the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> and if we can't, then we can't. <laughs> um, okay. So next order of business is more cobblestone for the the outside of this house. Oh, and I need to put planks over here. That's not what I meant to do. <clears throat> um, it'll be fun once we get to like multiplayer as well to have different people working on different things. Yeah, then it can be, you know. And also like just having multiple people experiencing the older versions. Mm -hmm. When I was Young, like my my laptop old laptop was just like junk it couldn't run anything so mm -hmm. if i wanted to play minecraft we had to go to the public library <laughs> and so i'd beg my parents like can we go to the library and they're like oh my god you you want to read books and then i play minecraft and <laughs> they're very disappointed in me that's funny <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, that's stone. Yeah, a lot of these textures, I mean, like, dirt <laughs> is, I think it's still the same in programmer art and stone. Mm -hmm. they, they were perfect. One shot. <laughs> Planks. Which is doors. Crafting table. A lot of stuff. Okay, so more uh, more cobblestone is needed. I want to get some more cobblestone and then finish this like staircase, and then I want to get started on the museum. And there's a creeper right there. He's stuck in this little hole. Oh, I'm in creeper. Not anymore. Out. He's not. <laughs> gonna need a lot of cobblestone for that museum i'm gonna get let's say two stacks and then i'm gonna turn one stack into slabs and that probably won't be enough <laughs> but we'll see what happens Oh, did we find out, was it beta 1.0 when multiplayer, like, not when Ooh. it was added, but when it, like, started saving your inventory? <laughs> yes, because those are two different things. Uh, you put it in one of the chats. Let mm -hmm. me check. I think it was in the one with you and Katie. Yeah. I'm scrolling far back in that one. Alpha 1.10. Oh. oh, really? Yep, that's at least what you put. Okay, that's when it saves your inventory? <clears throat> yeah. Cool. It's 
that's not too far away. Not at all. Because what next is what? Next is alpha 1.0.4, and then I think 1.0.5 added like one block, and then I think 1.0.11 added 1.0.11 added a bunch of crafting recipes for stuff that was already in the game. Like there were mm -hmm. already bookshelves, but there was no way to get them, and so they added like sugarcane and paper and books. Mm -hmm. And like there were brick blocks, but no way to get them, so they added like clay and bricks. Um I don't know if there's anything between that and 1.1.0. Not sure. I mean, you could look in the spreadsheet. I think I sent that to you. Yeah. Let's pull that bad boy up. There we go. Huh. You only got three slabs for from the slab recipe instead of six. Yucky. All right. One dot O dot eleven added. Wait, hold on. It was one point ten point one point one point oh that added okay, yeah, 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 let me not confuse myself um in between those we have books, bookshelves, bricks, bricks, like you said, cactus, clay, clay, leather, finally, milk, <laughs> boats, paper. Sugar cane, then called reeds. Ooh, slime balls. Hmm. Oh, but those are easier to get in the earlier versions, right? I don't know. I feel like they are for some reason. Uh, eggs, juke box, minecart with chest, minecart with furnace, and then some music discs. Hmm, the music discs are gonna are gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah. <clears throat> I so okay there's one thing I wasn't sure if I should count all the different enchanted books as different items I decided not to like I still yeah, want to get every potion and every uh music disc but I'm just going to get one enchanted book because uh, the fact that it's like random <laughs> makes it yeah very much not fun to actually get them all I just refreshed the stream and I notice your FPS is incredibly high. Oh yeah, it should be 60. Yeah, then again, it's kind of smurfing to be playing on like InfDev. Oh. <laughs> whatever NVIDIA graphics card you have going on. Uh -huh. hmm, I think this is enough room for what I want to do. So we're going to have, like, door here, and then window, not window, not window, window, not window, window. Not window, window, not window, and then it's going to turn here. And I didn't bring a stick with me. Oh, that's way more than enough room. In fact, maybe I should move it back some. I think I will. 
I realize maybe I shouldn't be out here at night, but like, come on, there's no mobs. <laughs> City that never sleeps. Mine, mine, Minecraft. True. Is that New York that they call that? Yeah. Oh, you know about the uh, the Apple situation, right? Which Apple? Oh, Apple, like the item. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. Um, so go to the Minecraft wiki. All right. And go to the Apple article, and then go to the history. Never a a good thing. <laughs> All right, Jarvis, Apple. open the Wikipedia article on Bayes' theorem. History. Um, added apples. Apples are non-functional. Apples are functional and edible. Then apples are used to craft arrows. <laughs> next version. Immediate next version. Published, it looks like, the next day. Apples no longer used to craft arrows. And then apples now use the texture of golden helmets. Uh, apples can craft golden apples, and apples now have the correct texture again. Okay, that Keep is... Reading. There's more. Oh, there's more? Yeah. With the addition of the respawn feature, apples have become legitimately obtainable in survival and renewable for players named Notch. Did you skip a version? Oh, I missed something. You're right. <laughs> um, at the bottom of a crafting guide they made, a player named JTE jokingly indicated that Notch dropped an apple when killed and that apples could be grafted into something called a golden apple. This was a joke on the fact that apples were totally unobtainable. Players named Notch now drop an apple when they die in addition to their inventory. <laughs> I just... That context followed by apples are now legitimately obtainable for players named Notch is really funny. <laughs> <clears throat> so okay so the reason i bring that up is uh there are some versions in the launcher wait okay so when did they add apples another way to get them was it strongholds yeah okay so strongholds. which was what beta 1.8 yep and when does notch start dropping apples notch starts dropping apples in inf dev so, which means, yeah, for a a very large number of versions, I could get an apple by by opening to land, having Notch join, and then killing Notch. I am not <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> a, I don't think he would want to. B, even if he did want to, I wouldn't want him on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> The creator of Minecraft, Katsune Miku. <laughs> so I'm just going to consider that a joke. I mean, it, it is a joke, but I'm going to yeah. consider jokes not valid for the purposes of this yeah. series. Um, and then the same thing applies to Golden Apples. You couldn't get them until... I feel like you could get them before you could get regular apples. They're not in strongholds, are they? Golden apple. Let's see. The gapple. No. Gapple is an enchanted golden apple. 
I that's all fake anyway. You're fake. Um Gapples were a thing in Infdev. But you couldn't get them, right? But you couldn't get them, yeah. But if you got an apple somehow, you could craft a gapple. Right. Oh, wait. <laughs> if I killed Notch. <laughs> in Infdev, gapples can be found in dungeons. Oh, okay, but that's after this version. That's like a week after this version. Yeah. Okay. And thus, they are obtainable in normal gameplay. But not in this version. Not in this version, but in the very next version, they are. Right, but you couldn't get it. So you could get a golden apple from a stronghold, but you couldn't get yeah. an apple until... Or from yeah, a dungeon, I mean, but you couldn't get an apple until strongholds. <laughs> Which is just, like, kind of strange. Yeah, there's not a single mob out here. Which is kind of nice. Oh yeah, the door crafting recipe only gives you one door and you can't stack doors. Hate it. But I mean, you don't make that many doors, so it's not that big a deal. What if you're trying to make a hotel? That's true. A very good point. Ricardo was on the Nintendo 3DS and just seeing history for new Nintendo 3DS edition was kind of <laughs> threw me off. Yeah, I forgot that they did that too. Prior to beta 1.8, the golden apple outwardly restored the player's full 20 and 10 hearts health points. Internally, however, it restored over double that, 42 <laughs> health points or 21 hearts. This huh. is most likely a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right. making it restore the meaning of life. 42 health points. Of course. So it just like, what, it like instant health do you, 42 hit points, but it you can only have uh, 20 at a time anyway? Yeah, so it just, it gave you full health, but it gave you more than full health, and but you're capped. Right. So nobody but the developers could see that. <laughs> I Yeah, so this is kind of, this is the design I was going with before. And I like it. I kind of don't know what to do with, like, the roof. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. It is very old Minecraft. <laughs> well, it's it's just the the limited palette of blocks and along with yeah. the old cobblestone texture. But it, it gives it a good vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want uh, each version that I can upgrade the world. I want to like, or like whenever I need to like expand the museum or remake it because the, you can't upgrade the world. I want to make it with like, like the new stuff from that version. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so so you have, like, the history of the game by, like, looking through all the chests, but then you also have the history of the game by, like, looking at how, like, the blocks that the museum itself is built out of change as you go down the museum. 
and I realize there's not a lot of room to expand with where I've built this, but I'm predicting we're going to run into a version where we can't use the same world before we run out of room here. <laughs> as sad as that is. Okay, I need a lot of cobblestone. So do we know of, like, a thing where we can't upgrade anymore? I, I don't know which versions that happens. If you want to, like, mess around and, like, find out, um, I'll listen. <laughs> All right. But I'm just kind of... Otherwise, I was just kind of going to see what happens. But I, I don't I don't care about, like, having it spoiled for me. Although, it might make me, like, not build um, as nice of a structure if I know it's not going to be preserved. Yeah, you know what? Art is never finished, only abandoned. I, I don't see how that relates to the topic at hand, but sure. It does in my head. <laughs> okay. Time for some more cobblestone. I guess I'm effectively kind of strip mining anyway when I get cobblestone. So I might as well do it lower down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm just going to do this like when I need cobblestone, not like when I need iron. You have limits. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is. Well, you will only do so much. Strip mine. Strip mining is is a immoral boundary. <laughs> well, I just I don't know. I I I know I get bored when I strip mine, and so I just shut my brain off when I mine. Realistically, mm -hmm. I just simply yeah. al allow it to do other things right well that's that's why i watch tv but when i play a video game i want my mind to like be on and like stimulated oh i play video games to make sure it's not stimulated <laughs> hence why i am so bad at video games <laughs> hence why you still haven't beaten portal <laughs> true i i bought Warren Portal 1 and 2, and we stayed up until, like, 5 a.m., <laughs> just, like, him playing Portal and Portal 2. It was fun. I actually... I can probably... I probably will play some games. Because... I can't play CS... I'm, I'm so mad about CSGO. Oh, how the CS2 now? Yeah, and it, it can't run on my computer, so... Oh, I, the old I, one could? Yeah. Was the old one in source? Yeah. Hmm. Old one could run perfectly. No problems whatsoever. I, I could get full frames, all that stuff. There's a pig on the house. He's chilling. Oh, he jumped New off. New one definitely cannot. He's trampling my crops. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Oof, that black outline pork chop. Yeah. Oh, uh, cooked pork chops in this version? Like, uh, so before they added cows, which I think was, like, late beta, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Before they added cows, uh, cooked pork chops use the texture that is now steak. Hmm, interesting. We have this some time to cook, yeah. I guess it's not steak now, but it, it, it was steak after they added cows, and it, the modern steak texture is, like, obviously inspired by it. Yeah. And you can't stack food, so... <laughs> 
you just have to like do one at a time. But these uh cooked pork chops, they restore four hearts. Um, and it, there's no like delay to eat food, so it's kind of a little OP if you have a lot of food, but you have to have it like on your hot bar and you can't stack it. So I guess yeah, it's, so... I guess it is balanced in a way. I was gonna say maybe like the new genre of Minecraft speedrun where you're in infdev, but there is no end goal in infdev. <laughs> Because there is no end. Yeah, that was a uh, 1.0, wasn't it? <laughs> Something like that. I mean, speedrun, get every block or item, yeah. That is a much more involved <laughs> thing than just making it to the end. Because you got to get all the, you got to get enough diamonds and gold, yeah. And you couldn't like put in a seed in this version too. Although I'm sure if you if you set the clock to the same time, you probably get the same seed, right? I th I don't know. I you, you, that would deal with Java random number generation. Mm. I don't know how that seeded. Hmm. How is Java random number generation seeded? I wonder if it depends on what version of Java you're you're using. That would be kind of interesting if, like, 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 uh, speedrun rule, you're only allowed to do this on Java, like, 11 and above. Well, it looks like a lot of whatever it's called. Stack Overflow shows a lot of people seeding it with the time, so. But they, they seed it down to the millisecond. Ah. So. Which is that, a, lot a lot less harder. than a frame. <laughs> yeah. And and I, I know, I, I'm not super involved in, like, speedrunning stuff, but I know, like, like a, a frame is supposed to be, like, moderately difficult. So like a millisecond is 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 like a uh what like a like a seventeenth of a frame if if you're sixty fps. Well, I'm quick math. Yeah. Yep. So I I think that's like not even humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> so then getting. I mean, random seed, let's, let's just say that we're doing random seed, uh, like finding all the diamonds and gold, <laughs> uh, what is the best strategy for that? <laughs> Rip mining. Probably, yeah. Uh... But, but then you gotta get enough, <clears throat> enough iron that you, like, have enough pickaxes ready, so you're not, like, sitting there crafting pickaxes, like, during that part of the run. It'd be kind of interesting to see somebody actually like strategize it out i wouldn't want to do it though <laughs> just because it sounds difficult <laughs> it's one of those things that is difficult and not like that rewarding at least not to me It's too bad that there's no upside down slabs yet. Ethan, you've sort of turned into my my like wiki checker here. Yeah, you know, I obviously I okay. I will walk this back. I have never watched Joe Rogan. That is a very concerning half of a sentence. But there's a guy in it. In his podcast, where Joe will be talking to something, and he'll like shoot over to the guy, and he'll be like, "Hey, you look up the date that this happened. Look up the date that like this, you know." This, and this he's still like makes stuff up all the time, doesn't he? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he's still he's still completely wrong about half the things he says, but occasionally he'll, he'll be like, "Hey, you look look up the, you know, the, what does this thing look like? What kind of frog is this, or whatnot?" And I was I was gonna say that earlier. I'm like, I feel like that guy, but I don't know his <laughs> name because I don't watch Joe Rogan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, why did I say that? I wanted you to look something up, and I was <laughs> I was gonna like apologize that I keep asking you to look stuff up. Uh, oh, I mean, when did they add upside down slabs? Was it beta one point six? That's my official guess. All right, beta one point six is your guess. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I guess we will never know. <clears throat> Not soon, anyway. Ooh, spiders! I want that string. We need string for string, and for white wool, and for bows. And I would like to have a bow anyway. It would be nice. But then I will need to get arrows. Um, and I think you can get feathers from zombies, but probably faster to get um, arrows from skeletons. Although, when you do the arrow crafting recipe, I think that you get four arrows. So, maybe it is better to get feathers and craft them. It's three string though, not too bad. It's enough for a bow, but I don't have any uh, arrows anyway. Although I might as well just have a bow to carry around with me for when I get arrows. Well, no, I'll just put it in the chest. No reason to use the string before I have to. That didn't drop anything. Huh. I guess that happens sometimes. Okay. String goes in there. And then I needed more uh, cobblestone. That's right. One second. Okay. <laughs> Had to send a message this is kind of strip mining but at least I'm making like a big uh you know it's very tall and it kind of it kind of feels like an intentional mine maybe I should do it uh such that I can, like, place slabs, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm not doing this in the most efficient way. But really, who cares? Hopefully, nobody. Not doing this whole thing in the <laughs> this whole project in the most efficient way. It's kind of not the point of it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I kind of want to stagger this with the floor. I don't know why. I just want to.
That was not the smartest thing to do. Okay. Now we are Return. back in business. All right. How's it going? What was I doing? Looking uh, when you were down looking up slabs. when upside down slabs, and I think my original guess was beta one point something. I don't know what my guess was, but I'm changing it to beta one point four. Uh, it was originally one point six, so I'll 1. just point... let you have two oh, guesses. Okay. All right, let's go down to history. Ethan. Okay, it is. Oh. There's no way. What? When did you say it was? Uh, my first guess was beta one point six, and then my second guess was beta one point four. One point two. Re release one point two. Release one point two. <laughs> All types of slabs are now able to be placed upside down in under blocks. These occupy the top half of their block space rather than the bottom half. 1.2.1. Interesting. Release. I didn't know that. That is wild. Wow. <laughs> when did you start getting two back when you broke a double slab? You start That was earlier. Um, okay. That was... Yeah, beta 1.3. Double slabs now yield two of their respective single slabs when broken as opposed to one. However, destroying sing double slabs with TNT still yields only a single slab. Interesting. It is not known when or if this was fixed. I think it's pretty easy to find or out if, if it was yeah. fixed. Or <laughs> if, I mean, especially, like, it's the it's been decompiled. <laughs> I mean, it's Java. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so it's not difficult to decompile, but I mean, there's like, like the good names for the variables are known. Didn't they release an official, like, list of like what the variables are actually supposed to be? I don't know. I feel like I remember that happening, because I remember there was some kind of debate in the like modding community over whether they would keep using the like the the aliases that they had made or the ones that Mojang had put out. Mm. Oh, I'm changing this to uh, go across two every time that it goes down because eventually I want to come back and put like slabs mm -hmm. here. Oh, that's wrong. And now I'm down here. Honestly, it's kind of fun just, like, trying to guess when random stuff was added. That could be, like, a regular activity. Just, like, pick a random block and be like, when was it added? <laughs> and have, like, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, it, it's, like, it's like a silly little trivia game. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that... I now that I have that spreadsheet, I mean, wouldn't it be too difficult to like create like a little web application, assuming the spreadsheet is accurate. Although the spreadsheet's not when it was added; it's when it was obtainable anyway. Yeah, and it took a little while to put it together, so I don't want to like do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that they. Released. You were talking about the obfuscation maps, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't know they even released. That's really cool. 
They specifically say like, we release this to make modding easier. Yeah, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. Epic axe broke. Oh, more sheep. I'm gonna go get myself some wool. I mean, it's, I, sometimes I wonder, like, when you punch them, like, they take damage, so, like, I guess you can only <laughs> get so much wool from them before they, like, die. But they, they always seem to despawn before that happens anyway. The shadow thing... I don't know how I never noticed the shadow thing, and this rain thing, too. And Steve What's... simply has completely rotational shoulder joints. <laughs> was there even rain in this version? I think there was. Alright. You have another job? <laughs> I have another... The average rainfall lasts 0 0.5 to 1 Minecraft days. That, and there's that a 0 the 0.5 to 7.5 day delay between rains. Thank you, Minecraft Wiki. Oh. What's up? F5 Hoggles rain, and rain is only visible while in third person. So, there's that. Wait, what do you mean F5 toggles rain? I don't understand what that means. Ethan? Oh. Alright. Am I alive? Yes. Hello? I, I can't hear you anymore, Ethan. Oh, am I audible? Oh, there you are. Okay, sweet. All right. Rain. F5 toggles it. F5 is... For, is... What do, you, what do you mean F5 toggles it? It says inf dev F5 toggles rain. Oh, wait. What version are you on? Uh, 2010 It should still do it. Well, F5 is this. Oh! I guess it okay. is toggling oh, rain. <laughs> I misinterpreted the second sentence. As it also toggles third person, rain is only visible while in third person. Okay. So, it is always raining when you're in third person. Okay, but it doesn't fall from the sky, and it only shows up if you're at Y64. Doesn't mention anything about... Oh, wait, no. The rain effects are broken as the splash particles appear, and they only occur at sea level. Oh, and they show up in caves it. also. Oh, look at... They're, uh, they're on top of this torch, even. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, the rain is very broken. So when did they add, like, rain that wasn't broken? Um, Looks like Alpha 1.0.4. Oh, okay. That's the next one. Oh, I still need a pickaxe. He 
Yeah, there's so many little things that are broken in, in weird little ways. Because he was just like, like, releasing new versions every day. One second. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, it's interesting how there's so many little things that are broken in, in weird little ways, but he was just, like, making new versions every day <laughs> back then, wasn't he? Oh, Ethan? Uh, he was just kind of going off. Yeah. Oh, am I lagging? You're, you're, you're back now. You're kind of cutting in and out occasionally. We love to see it. Hold on. That's unfortunate. Is there F3 in this version? No. So once I get this uh, column of cobblestone out of here, I'm going to head back up and keep working on that museum. We'll have to uh, do more of the floor before anything else. It really does use quite a bit of cobblestone to make that floor, since you need a uh, <laughs> you, you you get one slab per cobblestone, and you need two uh, slabs uh, per block of the floor. So you end up needing two stone per block. Here we need another, uh, quite a few. Probably, maybe even this whole stack. Let's start out with this much and see what happens. I don't want to make too much because I need the cobblestone for the walls also. Okay, so that's five there. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... That's going to be 70. Sorry, I'm checking. Um, Ethan's internet is having problems, but... Oh, 70, which is more than we have. Okay. Let's go get some more of them. And then we need a lot more for the walls, too. So I'll just get, like, a couple more stacks, I about. And then that should be enough for now. I'm trying to get more wool also every time that I see a sheep because I want to make a chest plate. Ah, oh, shoot. I guess if you just walk on crops, it tramples them now. 
which is unfortunate. Okay, so more cobblestone. Maybe I'll just use up this whole pickaxe even. Eventually, if we keep doing this, we'll get low enough for uh, to find diamonds and gold and stuff too. Let me check on Ethan. Nope. Okay, let me let me tell him to send a message in Twitch chat when you're back when your internet is back since Discord is in streamer mode. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just do this until this pickaxe breaks. And then That'll be hopefully at least 70 blocks, which will be enough to uh, do the floor of that place. And then whatever's left over, we can put toward the wall. I think we might need more glass than this, but we'll worry about that um, after the cobblestone. Yeah, I think doing this in multiplayer will be pretty fun. Oh, the axe is broken. Yeah, and that'll be better with stone slabs on the floor of that as well. Oh, okay. On Ethan Duck. Or am I? <laughs> I don't know. He said, he said once again video games in the Twitch chat, but now he's not picking up the call. Oh, he says, wait, not yet. Hello? All right, there we go. Okay, cool. I have a Wi-Fi extend. I got evicted from the room I was in, and then oh no, now the room is not a fit, so I grabbed a Wi-Fi extender. Ah, I see. Okay, I uh went and got some more cobblestone, and then I turned it all into stone slabs. Um, so this should be. I think I counted. I needed seventy to finish the floor, and this is more than seventy. Um, but I'll use the leftover ones on the the staircase in the mine. Yeah. And then that'll be the floor finished, and then we can get working on the wall after that. And then, once we build the wall, we can start uh, actually putting the items in here. <laughs> Kind of the whole point of the thing. Oh, this is a little strange. Uh, oh, I don't have a pick. I'll pick that later. If you're like standing, like I'm standing right here on this ledge, kind of over this block, and I can't, I can't place it. Hmm. I have to like back up to place it. And similarly, if there, if when there was like a block over, remember I couldn't place it. I think the slabs are kind of buggy, like their hitboxes aren't quite right. Or not, not their hitboxes, but like when it decides whether or not you can place it, it like is checking the block above instead. And if there was like, like when there was a half slab here, 
and then a block here, and I tried to place under it, it placed down there. They're, like, off sometimes. Kind of weird. Oh, what were we talking about? Like, what was it? Was it the version thing, or were we talking about something else? The like, guess what version stuff was added? Yeah. That that That'd would be, be kind a fun... of a fun little thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we don't have quite enough glass. <clears throat> We can easily get more. Yeah, I like how this place looks. As you said, it's got kind of a, an early Minecraft look <laughs> mm -hmm. also. And how fitting for a thing to, to be, you know, recording the history of Minecraft. It should look like it is in part part of the history of Minecraft. Right. I think I needed two double chests for all the blocks from this version. Oh, signs are a bit different in this version. So, first of all, you can't stack them and you only get one from the crafting recipe, just like doors. Mm -hmm. um, but in addition, you can't put them on the wall, you can only put them on the floor. And when you do put them on the floor, they are significantly bigger than they are now. Hmm. Let me make some signs. Because <clears throat> I do want to put signs next to the chests that are like the blocks in this chest are from this version, that kind of thing. Um, so this is a sign. <laughs> it's oh kind of God. massive. <laughs> oh, I need a pick. That is not a pick. <laughs> that is huge. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, a little strange. And then they they brought them back down in, in some version. That's another another thing that we need a, a wiki checker for. I know exactly what version, but and I need more wood. So I'm, what I ended up doing in the other one was just like putting them in, like I'm making chests for specific versions, and then within that chest I'm putting the blocks from that version like in alphabetical order. Mm-hmm. A lot more compartmentalization. Mm -hmm. I want this to be over here.
The signs are also always at an angle, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, never mind. I guess they aren't. They're just like off a little bit. Maybe it's like flooring instead of rounding somewhere. Those are not the same angle. No. Can you not? Huh. Yeah, getting the signs to point the right direction is a little, a little weird. I think those are diagonal. Okay. And once we get like wall signs, I'll put them like on the chest. Mm -hmm. but just for now. Gonna be like that. Okay, time to get some more cobblestone. So I would like to actually have enough wall on this place that I'm not going to, like, get shot by a skeleton <laughs> before I start putting stuff into the chests. Spiders can still climb over it, but... Yeah, I don't know what to build the ceiling out of yet. I was thinking, uh... I mean, I, I would like to do some kind of, like, diagonal thing... I don't really... Maybe wooden planks? I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe stone slabs. But I'm already using stone slabs on the floor. I'll just other, get. Oh yeah. Other... What you can build it out of obsidian. <laughs> um. Blocks of iron. Blocks of iron. I remember uh, playing in some kind of like city like adventure map, um, like a long time ago, back when. I, I know it was it was the first time that I ever used single player commands because I just wanted to like I couldn't figure out part of the map so I was like I need to just like cheat my way through this which means I need single player commands mm -hmm. um so I remember like installing the single player commands like overriding like unzipping the jar and overriding the class files and deleting meta and all stuff that kids these days wouldn't wouldn't understand <laughs> um but what was I gonna say? Oh, I, there was a, like a, as it, it was this like adventure map that took place in like a city. Um, and like, I remember there were like buildings made out of like iron blocks and I was like, whoa, that is, that is so cool. <laughs> like that is such a cool building material. First off, this was back when iron blocks were, they had all the like lines on them, all those mm -hmm. like horizontal lines carved into them. Um, yeah, I was like, first off, that's a cool building material, and second off, I mean, how long it must have taken to get all this iron? I, and I mean, of course, it was probably made in like Creative or MC Edit or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was just like, that is really impressive. Anyway, iron blocks—they still had the like classic texture at this point. Crafting tables. Crafting. Do crafting tables have the wood planks on the bottom still? Yeah. They do that now as well. <laughs> I think. Don't they? But... Crafting tables. See. I mean, yeah, I guess the, the side texture has wood plank kind of under the the stuff, the tools and stuff. I'm opening up Minecraft. I should probably have it open myself. 
Oh, logging with Microsoft account. Why are we? Uh oh. A good amount of cobblestone. Oh, exactly two stacks. I want to build a nice little path over there eventually. Oh, and I still didn't get a pick to break this slab with. Oh well. Oh, I need to actually put logs there. Still there, Ethan? Yes, I am. I am okay. booting up modern Minecraft to oh. have as like a reference. So uh, when we want to compare two versions. We have that off the bat. Right. So I'm I'm just generating a world right now. It's like a single player creative. Oh, and you could check for the folks at the Minecraft wiki whether you get Slabs, <laughs> two slabs, yeah, like, one what? creeper. Oh, there's a bunch of pigs over there now. More cobblestone. I'm glad that the Minecraft wiki left, um, left fandom. It was a very dark time. <clears throat> The fact that when wikis like leave fandom, fandom like doesn't let you delete the wiki is kind of like, um, what's the word? Dystopian, not dystopian, but like, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about, Ethan? I am back. Oh, I didn't realize that you. Were I back. no, I my laptop it did that thing. Where, where it does. Um, <laughs> it just goes from 90% to 0%. Yeah, it does that. Mm. I was just talking about, I'm glad that uh, the Minecraft wiki isn't on fandom anymore. There's there's two of them. Yeah, that that's like a thing that fandom does. Treating... So, when, when wiki communities decide to leave fandom, they mm -hmm. they get all the content from fandom and they put it on their own thing and then fandom does not let you delete a wiki and if you just like remove all the information from the wiki then like a fandom admin like takes over the wiki and puts it all back hmm that's kind of scummy uh -huh. um to answer question one, however, the bottoms of crafting tables are still um, the solid, like, normal wood texture. Mm -hmm. And now, let's get 
make some jungle slab now smooth stone slabs. And TNT and steel and let's All right, both slabs did drop. Nice. <laughs> you can Minecraft go Wiki. Now. At least version 1.20.2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, now, now you need to like do a binary search and find out when that changed <laughs> so you can add it to the history section. <laughs> <laughs> why is my what is my frame rate right now bull that's not true my frame I, I was like in Microsoft PowerPoint 2003 <laughs> when I was opening up this Minecraft world and I hit F3 and it said 80 frames a second. <laughs> it's like, that. that is not true. That's really funny. I tried to F3 to see what my frame rate was, and I guess there is no F3 in FDev. Makes sense. I should probably turn on limit frame rate, though, so I don't... have problems. I'm guessing that limits to 60. I can't really tell by eye whether things are 60 or 30. No, it looks the same, though. I can tell if I have them, like, next to each other. I was telling somebody about um, how with this new graphics card, Minecraft runs at like 500 frames per second. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, not that it really matters because my monitor is only 60 hertz. And then they were like, <laughs> well, you know what that means. <laughs> Time for a new monitor. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking up I, 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 on the topic of like Microsoft, I was trying to find that quote Bill Gates said about RAM. Oh, unused and, uh, RAM is wasted RAM. No, that sixty four K ought that to be enough gnome? for everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but apparently he did not say it, and there was they quoted a book, and my aunt got that book for me a super long time ago. She was like, "Here's a really important book about hackers," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> and then this tech article quotes this book and says like this is a very important book about hackers and i'm like oh okay <laughs> maybe i should actually read that book <laughs> yeah that's funny um i think it might have been the gnome devs that said unused ram is wasted ram Or maybe it was, like, misattributed to them <laughs> as, like, a joke, and I didn't realize that it was a joke. <laughs> Unused RAM is not... Help Linux eat my RAM?
Linux has this basic rule, pager-free RAM is wasted RAM. It looks like... Oh yeah, because it uses like extra RAM as like disk cache, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, huh, there's no crafting table in here. Minecraft. What happens if you go to minecraft.com? Probably redirects now. Yeah. What was it before? Didn't there used to be a website called, like, freeminecraft.com where somebody just, like, downloaded the the web applet and then, like, uploaded it without the, like, login page? <laughs> and then they, like... <laughs> Got mad. <laughs> Inevitably. I feel like I saw a, like, Celsi one video about that once. Minecraft. It, it was you and, like, some other people who were trying to get Minecraft education working, right? Oh yeah, it was it was yeah, it was you, me, and some other people were in call together. That was <laughs> Venture through time to create helpful AI oh okay, learn to code with the principles of responsible AI, not using AI. I was gonna say AI in <laughs> Minecraft. Uh oh. Oh, I did not make enough slides. It's... In on the main, like the non-stream server, it's really funny that the chest that you put the food into for the auto smoker mm -hmm. is labeled of uh, of in cold food, and the output chest <laughs> is of out hot eat. I, I did that. <laughs> that is simply comedy. <clears throat> I, there's so many signs in that place. <laughs> Every time that I see a sign in there, I, like, modify it a little. <laughs> so, like, many of the signs were, like, co-written by me, but, like, co-written in the sense of, like, they used to make sense and now they don't. Yeah. I just had such a bizarre... So, I'm, like, half awake. Uh-huh. Um... And I opened up a textbook that I haven't opened up, like, all semester. Right. Like, I got it during the summer, and then I proceeded to just not read it. Mm -hmm. And I opened it up on, on the first page. It says, my crimes are numerous. And then, like, part of the Breaking Bad confession. Did you write that? <laughs> and I didn't recognize my own, own handwriting for a second, and I was like, <laughs> someone like because this was a used textbook yeah and i'm like someone admitted to like committing a crime in this textbook and then i was like wait that's my handwriting <laughs> why did i write that <laughs> it's funny <clears throat> it is funny to admit to crimes it is funny to admit to crimes It is always funny to admit to crimes. I think maybe I'll do planks for the ceiling. I mean, you don't have many other choices it's in yeah. dev. <laughs> oh, axe broke. No more axe. Oh, 
there's the skeleton. He is not on fire. Problematic. Oh no, I can't even, I can't get close enough to hit him because he keeps shooting me away from him and I'm in water. Okay. Pickaxe. Not a pickaxe, axe. Oh, I should make a bow also, shouldn't I? Truth. You weren't kidding about that cat in front of the fuel chest. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I should move that, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh. <Hmm. laughs> no, it's I'm I'm not like playing playing. I'm just kind of like oh, okay doing something with my hands. Mm. I'm just like switching back and forth between watching the stream and mm -hmm. playing Minecraft. Minecraft, I love Minecraft. I yeah, Minecraft is a cool game. I had I I went for so long without playing it. Like after middle school, I did not touch it again until sophomore year of mm -hmm. college. Just I, I was so weirded out by all the changes, like Elytra's yeah. and all that stuff. It was like I hadn't played it since one point seven. I I didn't really play in one point eight. Mm -hmm. I did factions all the time but mm -hmm. like and I've, I've talked about this with you but for archival purposes the server i was on was like a pay to win server so uh. it was just like miserable and i we spent the entire time like avoiding getting blown up by people who paid you paid 200 dollars and you got protection for diamond armor every day and <laughs> If you killed someone who had that armor on, you couldn't pick it up if you didn't also pay. Mm. So you couldn't even like if you killed them, it nothing happened. Yeah, and it was a PvP enabled server, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that kind of sucks. I think that kind of left a bitter taste in my mouth. <laughs> oh, how many? Do you it's get skeleton here? farm time. Yippee. Yeah. Oh, torches. That's what this place is missing. <clears throat> Perfect. <laughs> I should really just, like, bring all the stuff to this thing with me. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. Do we know when wall signs were added again? No. My right. official guess is beta 1.0. All right. Let's see. I am completely making that up out of thin air, but. Alpha 1.0.1. Oh, cool. So like very soon next yeah and they were not touched again until release <laughs> i mean they just they got it right the first time you know they got it right the first when, time when did they fix shadows i'm gonna guess sometime <clears throat> in inf dev is there is there is there, an, is there an article on shadows <laughs> yeah i was just about to say i'm not sure Maybe lighting? Hmm. Oh, yeah, you, probably.
there is a page named lighting. All right, let's go to history. Oh, I'm on the fandom one. Oops. Oh, well. Oops. Get uh, Indie Wiki, buddy. It's a Firefox extension. What? And it, like, read... If you, it's an extension called Indie Wiki Buddy, and when you go to like a fandom wiki, it like redirects you to like the real one. That is actually insane. Mm -hmm. What a niche! <laughs> I mean, it it's it it does other wikis too, not just Minecraft. Yeah. But the fact that like that has to be a thing because fandom just like puts the wiki back up. And they, they also, like, they, they, they're very good at, like, SEO fandom. Yeah. Um, so, like, they, they often show up, like, earlier in Google than, like, the actual wiki. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why I've been clicking on it so often. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there are, but like, the, the new three oh. wikis for You May Nikki. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> three separate ones. There's, there's one called uh, You May Wiki, isn't there? It's like you may wait. Maybe this is not you may Nikki. Never mind. It just redirected to nothing. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah, you may wiki. There's like a I I don't know if it's a fan game or 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 not, but it's like a sequel to you may Nikki, and it's it's called you may Tuki, which is like a pun because ni is Japanese for two. But also like. I guess to a Japanese person, that's maybe not a very good way to name that game. Because <laughs> then you, like, don't know which one you're talking about. I want to, like, actually finish Yume Nikki. Because I've, I've heard that, like, there is an ending. Once you get all of the, like, effects, you can, like, drop them as eggs for some reason. I mean, you can do that whether or not you have all the effects. You can drop the effects, like, as eggs. Um, and apparently, once you get all of them, if you drop all of them in the main, like, dream hub thing, something happens. Um, and I have, I have managed to avoid spoilers about it, and I'm, I kind of want to know what happens, <laughs> but I don't want to, like, have it spoiled. I want to, like, actually get there. Yeah. Okay, I need coal. And also more wood. Honestly, I think it'd be a fun stream. I watched somebody else do uh, the same thing that I'm about to say. I did not invent this idea. To just, like, have a person who knows about Yume Nikki and a person who doesn't. And have the person who doesn't know, like, play Yume Nikki. Like, for the first time, like, on a stream. And then the person mm -hmm. who does know is like, what do you mean? That's perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a, a, a normal RPG. <laughs> just like Gaslight. <laughs> you, you've never seen that before? <laughs> it happens just, all the time in Final Fantasy. <laughs> just say, like, like you, you're getting closer to, like, the battle or whatever. Just, like, yeah. going. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a very long like like, like build up. You have to like be prepared for like for like the the, the first like encounter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are only three <laughs> results on F three for the page for Shadow on the Light page, mm -hmm. and the first one is in the history section for cave game hmm. so and then not again after that huh you said there were two though oh and the other two are just sure. like talking about modern minecraft lighting i see huh i'll keep reading but i have little faith mm -hmm. the other the thing that i watched with Two people playing Yume Nikki. It wasn't they weren't like gaslighting the other person though. They 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 were very open about this is a strange game, but they like didn't 
tell them until the person realized that it was weird and then they were like yeah it's kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Yippee. who I could get to do that. What's up? I wonder who I could get to do that. <laughs> yeah, I know about it, so it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Me scrillionth dollar. That was because I needed a sign to block the water, and I was like, I gotta put something funny on it. And then I, I ended up moving the water anyway, so I didn't need that sign, but I, I thought it was funny. And also, there was just, like, an empty space on the wall, and I was like, I gotta put something here. How about an item frame? <laughs> <laughs> and then you gotta label the item frame, of course. It's, it's a whole thing. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to finish the roof of this thing. And if it's ever time to expand this thing, I'm going to put, like, ladders and, like, expand it upward. And it's just going to be, like, perpetually under construction on the top. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes it a lot easier, because then you don't have to, like, worry about doing things horizontally or whatever. Right. Y axis is simply best axis. Okay. I Y axis is Minecraft's up and down, right? Yeah. Okay. I I thought you were gonna say it's Minecraft's like best axis. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> it, it it really adds the most potential out of all the axes in the game. Even though it's the only one that's that's finite. <laughs> It's got the most unexplored potential, though. I agree. But everything is finite. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. It's the only one that's, like, supposed to be finite. The only one that's, like, effectively finite. <clears throat> oh, this is sort of interesting. The armor bar. Instead of showing the like, so I think I think all the armor at this point like had the same like damage reduction. Um, mm -hmm. so the armor bar shows you the like durability of your armor. Like how much of it is left. Ah, huh, okay. So like I don't I don't have a chest plate and all these are kind of low so I just get like two chest plates worth of armor. Well, I'm considering the interior of, of the museum ready for <coughs> item placement. Yeah, there's not much else you can do. Yeah. I would like to make a nice path from the museum to the house, uh, but I'd, I only have two cobblestone left. <laughs> so that will have to wait. All right, well, Ethan, since you've got the spreadsheet, um, you can let me know if I miss anything here, but I suppose we have arrows, um, the block of diamond, block of gold, and block of iron. I'm going to skip for now. A bow, I would like to keep my bow, though. I'll get another one. <coughs> A bowl I can do now.
<coughs> and then bread I can do. Um, a brown mushroom. I haven't actually seen any mushrooms yet. I can do a bucket. Already got one. A chest. Okay, bucket, a chest. Um, I can do coal. And cobblestone. Oops. A cooked pork chop. Can do that one. Crafting table. I've got a few of them for some reason. A dandelion I have. We'll come back to all the diamond stuff. Dirt I can do now. You couldn't get a grass block until 1.0. That's kind of kind of wacky because it was silk touch, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I didn't realize, I, I, I had kind of figured that you could get them sooner than that by like killing Endermen that were holding them. Mm -hmm. But that actually wasn't until later than silk touch. Hmm. Like if you killed an Enderman that was holding a grass block, it just wouldn't drop the grass block. Interesting. I can do a door. So we'll have to wait until 1.0 for that. Um, a feather I haven't gotten yet. Flint, flint and steel I haven't gotten. A furnace. I could get flint right now, though. Let's do that. I need two flint. There's one. There's two. Yeah, man. <clears throat> and then, of course, a piece of iron as well. So that's flint, flint and steel. Oh, I need to do the furnace still. Oh, I don't have the cobblestone to do the furnace, so we won't do that one now. Flint, flint and steel, glass. I'll come back to all the gold stuff. Gravel. I don't have any gunpowder, even though I've killed a few creepers. Um, we'll come back to the iron tools, but I can do iron ingot now. I could do iron boots as well, but I want to keep this iron for pickaxes. Um, a ladder. Lava bucket will come back to. Leather armor will come back to. Light gray wool. Actually, no. I'm going to take this leather armor off because it'll be like the first armor that I made. Um, so that's boots, a cap, and pants. And then light gray wool. I have a log as well. Mine cart we'll come back to. Mushroom stew, obsidian, painting. We could do that one now. Okay, so painting, we can do planks. I'll come back to rail, I'll come back to raw pork chop, red mushroom, rose. We can do sand, though. And we can do sapling. So this will be enough for one trip. Sorry, I, I I asked you to get the spreadsheet open, and then I guess maybe it wasn't necessary. Well, also, I don't have whatever it's called. 
Oh, right, edit permissions. permissions. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I can set that up later, maybe. I'm simply vibing. Um, okay, so... Arrow. And then we have four blank spots, and then... Bow. Bread. Blank spot. And then all of these up to dandelion. Bucket, chest, coal, cobblestone, cooked pork chop, crafting table, and dandelion. And then we have a good, what's that, 10 blank spots, and then dirt, door, blank, flint, flint and steel, blank, glass. And then another 11 blank spots. <clears throat> and then gravel. Six blank spots. And then iron ingot. And then five blank spots. So two here and three here. And then the ladder. Blank. Leather boots, leather cap, leather pants, blank, and then light gray wool, and then log, and then three blanks, and then a painting, or planks, four blanks, and then sand, and then sapling. Okay. So that should be, let's see, 52 plus 18 is 72. 54 plus 18 is 72, plus 4 is 76. So this should be row 77. It is not. <coughs> OK, what has been done wrong? <laughs> Uh, the ladder should be 54 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 58. Is the ladder 58? No. An arrow, and then four blanks, and then bowl, and then bread, and then blank. And then... Oh, there's only one blank between the bread and the, and the bucket. Okay. So I'll just move everything back one. Okay. The brown mushroom will go there. And then move everything back one in here. Perfect. And then let me update the thing in OBS. I'll just copy it from here. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. We've made a good amount of progress here. We did. Well, you did. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it, it, it was a team effort. Um, it was. I think I'm going to consider that it for this particular stream. So that's been a little over three hours now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Another skeleton over there. So I'll just I'll walk back to the house and then we can pick this up another time, probably after Christmas. Mm -hmm. I know I will be busy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was that was pretty fun. All right, well, you've gotten you said how much out of infdev is done? Uh, I checked the spreadsheet. I didn't say a number. Oh, okay. Let me uh I'll 
do count uh count if. Yeah, I was just about to say. <clears throat> twenty seven. All right, so twenty seven out of ninety. Let me do another count up. <laughs> Uh, zero. <laughs> I don't know Google Sheets. Wait, how does this work? You need two equal signs? Oh, wait, I can just, like, look at the row numbers. I don't need yeah. to write a formula for that. What did I say? 20 what out of 96? 27. Yeah, 27 out of 96. Okay, so that's around a third, but um, we still need to... Is that around a third? That is about 28%. So yeah, around a third. Okay. Um, but, you know, I mean, the, the stuff we have left, we're going to need a lot of gold and diamonds for it <laughs> yeah so, it, it, so it's not like it's a third of the work but yeah all right and i think i might go ahead and back up the world as well that is a very good idea before the next stream but... you have already fallen victim once to yeah. <laughs> a furnace mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, oh wow, and over three hours, I had a total of 32 dropped frames. Hmm. Which is not bad at all. That is very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so next time we'll, uh, keep, keep, uh, mining, getting that cobblestone to make that path to the, to the museum. And as a side effect, if we happen to run into some gold or some diamonds, we won't we won't just let them sit there. We'll take them. Mm -hmm. But you know, really, we're just getting the cobblestone for the path. We're not strip mining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna end the stream. So. All right. Thank yeah. you for viewing this on Twitch.tv or YouTube.com, wherever you may be. <laughs>